The relationship that I was in was, it was about seven years. In the beginning, it was not abusive, but after that first year and we moved in together, that's when the abuse started. It was constant, like, you may get one good day out of seven. I was just tired. I packed up everything. I mean, I didn't leave anything that was for me or my kids there. I didn't want a trace of us to be with him. Once we arrived to the shelter, I was able to get a good night's sleep. We eventually moved out of the shelter into the YWCA apartments in Central Alabama, and we've been doing good since. As a child, I was sexually abused, and it took me a while to actually come out and tell people. I didn't really see a future for me. I mean, everything that happened, I mean, I lost my mom when I was six, and now I just lost my dad. So when I got to Butterfly Bridge, I had a person interview me, Miss Jana, and she made everything real easy, and she didn't make me feel uncomfortable or anything, and we just kind of talked about what happened. The process wasn't easy. Having to actually get over it and actually realize that it did happen and I can't let that hinder me for my future or anything. So going through the process, it was hard, but with Butterfly Bridge, it helped me out a lot. YWCA has been a blessing in our lives. With the group and the one-on-one -on -one counseling, that's what kind of helped me get past my fear. And while I'm in counseling, my kids are also in Kids in Crisis. It's also helping me. I don't think that they know that they're helping me by, you know, giving me the information that they learned in Kids in Crisis or they're encouraging me. From day one, Butterfly Bridge has been family to me. And during the whole process, my counselor was like my best friend to me. Having better technology in our, in our small nonprofit um, has allowed us to see more clients and in a, in a day we're used to because we had less technology that kind of thing was taking up so much time and so now we can devote more time to our clients and helping these kids to go on to live a life full of possibilities rather than it being defined by the abuse that they've experienced. A couple of years ago, I didn't think that I was going to go to college, but now with Butterfly Bridge, how they molded and shaped me into the person I am today, I'm going to go to college and I know I'm going to be successful, so I'm going to prove to all those other people that I'm not just a statistic. Wow. My outlook now is much brighter. Like my youngest son just said, every day is a good day. And I've heard him say, I hate my life. But now every day is a good day to him. With the grace of God and the YWCA help, we're going to be okay. <laughs>